Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're at the airfield today to try to get a drone in the air despite the wind and just the little bit of cold we're dealing with. Uh, this guy comes in around $50 and is a Wi-Fi FPV drone. If at any point during this video you're interested in the drone, we'll have a link in the description box below for you to check out but what we're going to do is show you everything that comes in the box then we're going to do our best to fly it it is a little too windy to fly this uh, that i would recommend for a beginner but uh, we're going to try just because we really want to want to <laughs> we want to get outside and just fly stuff so here's the drone it is a little bit different looking compared to a lot of things you see on the market a lot of things are designed after the phantom you know, they're very Phantom-esque, they're very basic looking. I like that this one has kind of like a StarCraft, you know, spaceship kind of alien ship looking thing. It's really a cool design. And I like the color of blue that's on there. It's a nice looking little drone, but it is basic. You know, we've got brushed motors that are geared and uh, just a pretty simple little setup. They do give us four spare props, but not in the cool color that comes on it. These are all just plain black props. We have our USB charger, and it took about 40 minutes or so for this to charge with a little JST connector on there, so it is not a proprietary connection, and that's nice. And uh, it says right on the battery, this is a 550 milliamp LiPo battery. That's a single cell. So we're not gonna get a super long flight time on this drone. It does come with instructions. Uh, definitely hold on to those, but uh, the one that was really useful is this guy for the QR code to download the app. You will need your phone. Look how perfectly my phone matches the drone guy. Pretty cool. <laughs> you download the app to the phone, it's free, and the drone itself emits a Wi Fi signal, kind of like your home Wi Fi. It emits the signal that your phone connects to. It you doesn't can, use data. That's right. You connect your phone to the drone, then you open the app and then you have that Wi-Fi signal. Now the interesting thing about this drone, even more than the shape of it, is the fact that this transmitter, it does not have altitude hold. So most drones that we see nowadays that are Wi-Fi, FPV, you know, $50 drones, we're seeing more and more altitude hold drones. This one does not have the spring-loaded stick there. We always kind of get excited though when we get those. Personally, I like them because I feel like I have more control over the drone, they're a bit more fun to fly, and uh, I just enjoy flying it like that. It's kind of more like a race drone than just a GPS altitude hold type of drone. The transmitter's nice, it's big, it feels really good in my hands. It's one of the biggest transmitters I've ever seen on any toy grade drone, I and mean, it's huge. It's, uh, and I like the shape a lot, so big, you know, big props to them for doing that, something different. And then most of the buttons are labeled, and uh, the kind of unique thing here about the phone holder is that it actually folds down into the back of the transmitter. So that pulls up, and then we can adjust the tilt, tighten that, and then the phone would fit in here. Now the downside is, it's not going to hold a big phone and probably even if we took her phone out of this case it wouldn't fit in there so that's definitely not the plus size phone that's a plus size phone that's a flaw to this design so we're probably not even going to use it because it won't hold the phone so the next step is just to put it in the air and see how it does i can't remember yes i, I thought maybe it did it does come with prop guards we're opting out of those but if you're a newer pilot definitely want to use them and then i wanted to point out that this case uh, the box is actually a really nice storage case for the drone it just pops in here it's great for travel to protect everything and keep it in one place it's convenient because it opens and closes very easily that's really nice so i wanted to point that out let's put this in the air and see how it flies very quickly before we fly we're actually waiting on the app to load. It's got a little loading screen. It's not connecting, so. Well, the Wi-Fi connected, but there's no image. The image yes. is just spinning. And to those of you that do recommend that we try multiple apps, we've also pulled up about five other apps to see if another app would work with but this. But here's the thing about multiple apps. The company recommended that this app. app. Yes. Why would they do that if it doesn't work? That's right. just dumb. Yes, but it's still, you know, we did try it because yeah. people always right. tell us to. So we're waiting on that to load, hopefully. I wanted to show you the lights. They look good. And there are lights up here that are faint, but they look okay. The big thing I want to point out though, is the camera. It came installed this direction. That's the front of the drone. That's the front of the camera. It is definitely a Wi-Fi 
drone actually sent me. I got me. connected to the yeah. Wi-Fi. But look at this. See where the camera plugs in? I just wanted to show you. I've actually tucked it out of the way. But right by the on-off switch is where the camera plugs in. Tell me what's wrong with that picture there. Anybody? <laughs> Give you a few seconds, just in case. There's a wire in front of the camera. Why would they have done that? That is so horrible. Yeah, it should plug in the back. So we're definitely not having any luck with the app itself. Abby and I were having a conversation off camera. We think these things are getting worse and worse over the years, like uh, at least the <laughs> toy grade stuff. But it bound up really well. Uh, we're gonna just let this load while we're out there and we're gonna go fly it and just see how it, <laughs> see how it flies. <laughs> Gotta be careful. <laughs> Let's fly this. Now, I like the color, the, those props. Can you see on the camera? I oh, hope cool. the back props, those bright blue look really good. And then you can see on the front, the tips are blue. That just looks really good. I like that. Yeah, me too. All right, let's actually zip this around. You know, we're waiting on the app to hope, and I can actually see the lights. I can see the bright red and green lights here in the very bright day and we're not even in a very high rate and we're flying around really well orientation on this drone is great this is actually a really nice flying drone it's a shame we've seen this before on our channel in fact we've seen it fairly recently where we have a drone that just performs exceptionally well just like this one is now and uh, the app doesn't work or the wi-fi didn't connect some something with the FPV, and that's reason enough not to buy it. Now, if we can find this drone uh, without the camera stuff for a bit cheaper, we will absolutely link it up because so far, I'm impressed with how this is flying. So Let's... if you're watching this video, just check out the description box. Yes. And that's where you can find us if it comes without the camera that's and right. stuff. That's right, that's right. Okay, now, this does have a flip function, so let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it now. Great flip. It definitely kind of took over with the flip. It's not going to be one of those that lets me do the free flip. When I hit the flip button and then I pick a direction, uh, let's let's try to do the free flip. I don't think it's gonna let me. I'll try it. Ah, uh, nope. It's it kind of gets a mind of its own for about one second through the flip process. So let's try one more time. Nah, not gonna work. Uh, you kind of lose control over the drone for about one second while it performs the flip. We have rates, so there's rate two. We're in a, fa a faster rate now, so we should be able to fight the wind even more. The and wind has almost stopped Almost, completely. yeah. This is much more zippy now, though. I can tell I have not filmed drones Ooh. outside in a while. <laughs> and this is uh, rate three, so we're... Now, our left and right pitch, you can see, isn't too extreme, but our yaw rate has gone up really fast. There's rate one yaw, rate two, and rate three. The yaw is really affected. And uh, let's see, forward pitch. Oh yeah, forward is is uh, affected very much. The left and right pitch are not affected as drastically as everything else when you change the rates. That's interesting. But I think I like rate one as long as we can fight the wind. Rate two feels pretty good for outside here in this wind. Now there is one more function that I have to test. They labeled as dance mode. So I'm going to try to get it hovering pretty well. About right there. Let's hit it. Okay, it just makes it do a cyclone on its own. I'm completely hands-free. Cool. Where'd you go? I lost you. <laughs> I tried to film your hands and then lost it. Yeah, so it just does a cyclone, which is uh, basically you give it and uh, and pitch. A, a pitch. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you give it like forward pitch plus left pitch. So on plus both sticks, like you just go on, go the same direction on both sticks. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, maybe give it a little forward too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's pretty fun. Can we do the dance mode and still give it throttle input? Let's try that. So there's dance mode, and I'm giving it throttle. Where'd you go? There it goes. Yeah. Straight so the, to the that ground. Was, that was how much the wind was taking over. Yeah. It's, the wind is picking up now, but it's, it's fighting the wind really well. It definitely has a ton of throttle punch. When I give it just a little bit down, it wants to turn the motors off. So throttle management isn't an issue. Look how much wind we have. I'm pitched that far over. Yeah, it it's, picked up just now. Let's give it a throttle punch. Three, two, one. Okay, it, di it didn't feel very punchy. Is that still rate two? Yes. Is that the highest rate or is there one more? Rate three. Oh, rate I'll three. see if throttle is affected. I don't think it will be. Generally, it's not. 
here we go, three, two, one. No, that's full throttle punch. Mm. Well, maybe so. I think the wind is affecting it quite yeah. a bit. That's me turning the motors off, just trying to get it to <laughs> descend close. a little bit faster. You guys can hear the wind, and Abby, let's let's swing it around here just so they can see how much wind there is. I'll hover it right by our little oh, torn that looks up, terrible. the shredded flag. Yeah, we need a new one. Oh man! I can't can't even film you. Okay, go ah, that way. Okay, it's windy, and I do not recommend flying any drone in the wind, especially if you're a beginner. You really should be. Oops, a more experienced pilot. <laughs> Phew. I am not doing good at filming you today, Nathan. At it's all. It's windy and it's very jittery. My Can I fly? Yes, definitely. I was just going to ask if you wanted to. There's sure probably, you were. probably not a ton of juice left for you. It's in the highest rate, I think, okay. and it's a very uh, jittery flight because there's no GPS holding it in place and it's very windy. Rem uh, remember, the bright blue props are the back, but I actually kind of wish they were the front on this. Yeah, I do too. Oh, and I've lost you. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. We're not doing good at filming this one. The wind is taking it a mm -hmm, lot. Mm -hmm. It really is. But we've just we've had it with staying inside and not getting out doing the some. Are okay. Well, there's your I awesome long flight time. Sorry about oh that. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna? You're right above us, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, I can't hit the camera up anymore, so... Oh! Yeah, I know. Flashing, so that's it, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Time to land. I have not flown a drone forever, it seems like. Well, we're gonna have a... Oh! I <laughs> bounced and hit my leg. It's still in one piece. Still gonna fly. Yeah. So we're, we're happy with the way this one performed. Just a little too windy today. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of wind, but with these guys, they're really lightweight and any little bit of wind can take them off. You always want to fly at least five miles an hour or less wind with some of these things or else they're going to be gone. <laughs> Overall, I think it was uh, uh, performed really well, but I wouldn't recommend buying it simply because the app didn't work for us. If it doesn't work for us, then it's likely that it won't work for you guys. It could be the version of the phone that we have versus other phones. This is a pretty common phone though. It's the iPhone 6s Plus. So if it doesn't work for that, I, I just don't see it working well for others. If we can find it without the Wi-Fi version though, check the description box because we'll have it linked there. Right. But I don't know. If you guys appreciate us telling you honestly when stuff doesn't work, please consider supporting us on Patreon. We'll have that linked in the description box below as well. And uh, to those of you that are supporting us, we couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much. Just gonna stand here and model. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!